Hi, it's Ben and welcome to Dash 9 Computing. Today we're going to talk about uh, sending mail off the ESP32. I'm going to be using Adafruit's ESP32 Feather TFT and uh, running some code and I'll show you the code. It's adapted code from someone else but I, I made it so it'll work with um, a TFT display. You can also send it to a serial output and look at it through uh, a program like an Arduino IDE. Uh, so we'll send some mail off and we'll relay it through Google. In this case, we're going to relay it through Google to a Yahoo account. And this can be really handy for if uh, you could send text messages too. Um, but it's really handy. Uh, and by the way, sorry, when I say text messages, you're not going to send it via SMS, but you can send text through email. But the idea is that let's say you have a sensor attached to the um, uh, ESP32 and you want to trigger, you know, something happens and it triggers an event, a temperature, a moisture, a, a motion sensor, whatever it is, uh, even with a camera, you know, you could have it and it'll trigger that uh, and send you an email. And you can also do attachments. I'm not going to cover attachments today. I'm still kind of working on that. But um, as far as uh, shooting off a, a notification or a text, that would be great to actually know what's going on so it can communicate with you. Uh, you do have to have Wi-Fi uh, in the ESP32 board, uh, which I do. Uh, and I'm going to also uh, post uh, my GitHub repository where I'm putting the code now. And uh, this actually is a totally different site, which I'll go over later, but it's called WOKWI. And you can run code kind of live and see what it'll do. You don't even have to have an ESP32 board. So if you just want to check it out, see what happens, it's pretty cool. All right, let's get started. So here is the code, or at least it's a sample of the code. I took out my private information, but um, it was originally written by Ruiz Santos, and I made some changes, oh, and a little typo at the same time. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically what it's doing is it's going to send emails uh, to Gmail, through Gmail, uh, port 465, and I'll show you what we set up in Gmail after this. But um, I am running an ESP32 from Adafeather, and it's got a TFT display. Yeah, so I changed a lot of this from so from serial so that it'll work with my Adafruit uh, ST7789 display. You have to add some libraries. Um, so for this mailer, you're going to need to replace um, for your Wi-Fi, your SSID, and your password. I really prefer having this out of this file, but because it's compiled, you know, that's okay, I guess. Um, Gmail, and then um, uh, you're going to want to create a Gmail account if you don't already have one, and they're going to give you a uh, author password. They they say you don't need it, but you do, so save that. Um, and I'll show you when we set that up because it's a little different than just setting up a standard account. You set up a standard account, and then you create a sort of a a different type of account. I'll show you. Um, here's more about the um, the display and some of the reset and things like that. Uh, and then here, uh, so we're talking about a void SMTP callback. That happens uh, later with the status. Uh, here's where we turn off the TFT, turn on the TFT display. So you have to do some different features, uh, backlight, power supply, initializing it. And then here is where we actually start connecting. And it's, well, here's where it prints, we're connecting. And then uh, it tries the password and SSID connecting, Wi-Fi connected, it'll also give you the IP address, spits that out. Um, let's scoot through here a little bit more. Here's kind of the uh, email handler. Uh, here's where the sender name is ESP and you can add you know, your different information. Um, I'm sending it via HTML and just not, not raw text. Um, pretty straightforward there. We have a loop and then um, because of my screen I added this little uh, fill screen. So basically it prints from the top down, which I'll show you. And then uh, I have it just wipe the screen and create and you know write the, the different status um, of the mail, like if it's mail sending, finished, etc. Just write it in the screen up in the upper left corner, which is zero, zero. Um, and then now we start getting into these results. And it, it, this kind of just loops through, so each time a result is printed, it'll then clear the screen and send another result, and that's it. And then it ends with this line. So um, why don't I show you it running? So when you've logged into your Google account that you're going to relay the mail off the ESP32 to that mail account, 
you go under your settings, security, and then you are going to go to, here we go, sign into Google, uh, password to, so you're gonna add app password. Okay, so I already have one created, but what I did is I selected an app, I called it Other, and then you can call it AIM, I called it ESP32, but let's say it's ESP32-S2, for example, I'll end up removing this, but you generate it, and this, it gives you this password. You're going to want to record this password. You will need it, and that's what you're gonna put into the script. So this ESP32-S2 I'm going to delete. Um, oh, you can also select device type, but I never did. <laughs> okay, so that's, it's that simple to create that account. And what this allows you to do is send mail from the ESP32, um, and it will authenticate automatically actually on, but it's uploading the code from the Arduino IDE app where I wrote the code. And remember, this is going to send mail through that Google account to a Yahoo account. It's just using Google as a relay. Oh, so there it says it's, it did the IP address. It's saying it's connecting, the greeting, getting the greeting response. It's logging in, sending an email. Here comes the header and now the body, good and the message was accepted, sending, closing the session, successful, and then there's a few dash lines. So here we are at the Yahoo account. Let's see if it shows up. Let's uh, click on the inbox. And there it is. It's from ESP, it, I called it ESP test, hello Ben. We open it up and inside it says, hello Ben, sent from an ESP board. Now, why would this be useful? Um, I think it could be useful for, let's say you have a sensor hooked up and you want to receive a, an email, or you can send a text, you can send other things like attachments, but let's say um, you have a sensor and it detected the temperature in the attic got too cold, so it would just automatically send you this message. And that, that would be a good notification. You could also hook up a, a camera and you could, an emotion sensor, and you could take a picture of somebody is in your garage or something, and you could automatically upload it. I've been fiddling with that and I've got the uh, SPIFS file system working, but I just can't seem to get it to send the message off uh, or the attachment properly, so I'm working on that. But this, is, this could be really handy, and it's just nice to get communication from the board so when something happens, you could actually send something useful off. Pretty simple, really. Um, I will include some you know, uh, links and things to some of the resources I use to make this happen. Pretty sweet, okay, <laughs> bye. Hey, this is kind of off topic, but I came across the site wokwi.com, and it has uh, the option to do um, an ESP32. And so here's an example they have with um, you know DHT. You're connecting to a uh, a sensor, and I was kind of looking at it, and it's really neat. You can like, well, let's just run it. So you can put your code in here. You don't even have to have an ESP32. Now it's just repeating, but here basically it's just saying, you know temp colon, print the temperature, Celsius, etc. And you can just see if the code will work. It's great. And then, um, so let's just stop it here. It shows kind of the diagram as it prints it. And I was looking over here and like, whoop, zooming in a little bit. Um, and I was sort of like, you know, I always make my ground wires green. So I kind of want to see what it'll look like if I make that green. And let's make the, um, I think is that the positive? Let's make it black. So let's check it out. Boom, it's done. It already changed it. Now the green is ground, ground is green. So it's just really cool. And then here it tells you, know, you put your libraries in here and then you have a library manager and here's that library and you can add libraries. I mean, it's, it's pretty sweet. I mean, I, I really like that. I, I think I'm gonna use this a bit. So I just thought I'd share it and I will include the link in the description.